Hello everybody defense here and welcome to episode 6 of our Minecraft Let's Play. We are here set and ready to go. It is currently raining a little bit but we are not going to let that stop us because outside in real life right now it's snowing. So let's, I'll take a little bit of rain for now. What we have for stuff today is I actually need to change up something we did in the last video and I also want to ask a question. Why, why do all my bees keep disappearing? I don't know where all my bees keep going. I blocked up my nether portal because I know for a fact that there's two of them in there. But all my bees is gone. I don't know where they're going. I've checked around the area already too. And I just... I know two of these were producing and now there's none in here. And these ones are still producing so I'm fine with that. There's still honey coming in. I just gotta figure out where all those guys went and I'm kind of bummed that they're gone but I will end up getting that set up but if you guys know why please do let me know it would be very much appreciated if you guys know much about the bees but one of the things we have to change up as I said is something that I did last video and that was this here I wanted to try something different down below and it's not really working out how I'd have hoped. So what I have to do is change it out and it's gonna be real easy. I think I have everything over here already left over from the build, but I tried using a detector system down below. Uh, what do I wanna use? We'll use some of this. And as I said, I, I just, I don't like it. It's not working the way I'd have hoped. It's kind of messy. Do I have slime? I do, I need one, two of those comparators yep okay good so we're just gonna go I looked at doing a chicken randomizer but eh, I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna go full redstone on this one we will as I said though mess around with other bits in the future Whoop, so that'll do that but yeah we're just I don't want to say it's a waste down here because it's not all about efficiency but being able to have a fully functioning system that is consistent is in my opinion a lot better so we are just gonna build the uh, the etho hopper clock boom 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 it's honestly really simple to do I'm gonna need to put in the redstone block first but then it's going to power out of this and I need to do I didn't bring my falling block either which is kind of a bummer so I need that to go there we need a repeater I'm gonna set it to that just to be safe I don't think it needs to be on that but we are going to set it to that I might have to change where these torches are because I need to go into the side of the block um, can I flip that over to there or no? Actually, you know what? I can do it this way. Boom. So yeah, let me change this up there. Yeah, we'll do it this way. We'll do it this way. So we're going to come out of here and I'm going to need a repeater off of this. As I said, I don't remember if I need repeaters off of this, but I'm going to put repeaters off of this. And oh, actually, no, that's going to work. I could have just left that the way it was. Bummer, man. Boom, 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 boom. And that'll be there. So I just need to, this creates a one tick pulse. Why am I doing that? I have this. Yoink. Okay, now it's night. Hopefully I'll be able to, nope, I won't be able to sleep. All right, well, that'll be fine. Let me get this wrapped up, take a quick nap, and once that is done, I will show you guys what we got. So I ended up having my ticks reversed. This can be at an, actually, I think this can even just be a piece of redstone, but I'm going to leave it as a repeater just to be safe. But as I said, I'm pretty sure you can use it as a piece of redstone. The way it works is you'll have that there, and when this switches over, it'll do that, which will fire a single tick through this. This makes it so it's, you know, readable so it can be transferred through and then it goes up, pops everything down and puts it in the chest. And we got 13 pumpkins from that harvest. And what I'm going to do is I'm thinking I want to do a stack. 
And I'll probably end up varying the time. I just, I think each item is 0.7 seconds or something like that. I could be wrong. I don't actually remember. It's been a, as I said, it's been a while since I've actually done this. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to, I'm going to triple it. We're going to do one, two, three. You know what, we'll do four. I'm just going to leave it. That'll be still way more often than is already being done. So I feel perfectly fine about that. I think we have enough light in here where stuff shouldn't be spawning. So we should be good there. So that'll be up and going to kind of get that stuff going better. I might end up hooking it through to over here. I think this is running often enough, though, because that just detects a chance of growth, not when it actually grows. I don't think I explained that last time. I just, for whatever reason, my brain is like, people understand redstone. That observer there just detects when that sugarcane tries to grow. Um, and... If it even tries to grow, it pulses. So it could still grow or try to grow. It'll pulse. These will all pulse through and dump it into here. So I think that one will be fine. This one here, I think, will be way better for what I uh, for for what it can be used for. So let's leave some stuff in there. And um, actually, let's see how much we get by. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna do one hour. So we're just going to actually, you know what, let's just take everything out. I'm going to turn all this into stuff, trade it, and I'm going to hang out here for one hour and see how much we get. So let me do that. And when we are done hanging out for that time, I'll bring you guys back and we'll see how much more we got. Welcome back, guys. We have, well, a couple of things. So this is the next day. I did end up AFKing there for a little over an hour. I'm, I'm going to say a little over an hour. I don't remember exactly how long, but when I logged back on today, I went over here to check on my bees. I'm just trying to figure some stuff out with my bees. And it was actually pretty funny. A bunch of pillagers spawned next to my tower. So I decided, hey, I'll shoot them from here. And I killed everybody except for the dude who's got the banner. Um, and, well, I decided, hey, I'll just set them on fire and just keep letting them shoot me. That'll be fine. No, that was actually a really, really bad idea. Because of this. He was on fire. Went, uh, decided he no longer wanted to be on fire. And then shot me again. And died to my thorns. Once he dies to my thorns... I guess I am now hit with this. I didn't know that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have let him kill me with his thorns. I need a bucket of milk. Or I can just die. But I have 43 levels and I don't want to do that. So, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Because once I get close enough to my village, it's going to start a raid. So, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I could just go off and go caving, uh, which I probably will do because I'm going to I'm going to take like a little bit of time. Actually, you know what? I'll do that. I'll take a little bit of time because I got to go find some more beehives, which I think will be good. I'm actually going to head off that way to find beehives. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to try and do a bit of caving to get myself one more piece of iron so I can milk a cow and get rid of this uh, uh, bad omen. Is that what it's called? Yeah, bad omen. Because I really, really don't want to deal with a raid at my base right now. Uh, everything else will be fine. I think the only thing I'll have a little bit of trouble with are the... Not the Vindicators. Who are the dudes who, who shoot the, the little Vex dudes at you? Whoever they are. And and the, the... Well, I could take out the Ravengers from range. But I don't want to take on a raid yet because I don't know if I can defeat it. And my base really isn't set up in a good way for a raid. <laughs> I could go up to my tower, but they'll just go and attack the village. So we're going to have to wait on that. But I just want to let you guys know what was up with that. I'm going to go out and try and find some more bees. Hopefully grab a couple of hives. Hopefully get rid of this bad omen. And once we come back, I have maybe one more build. Or we might change up something on another one of the builds. So I was out on the trail ranging, heading off that way as I had planned trying to find some bees and a little bit of iron so I could milk up to make it so that I could go back to my base and 
after getting a little bit of iron, which I actually found underwater, which was great, I was about to give up and just deal with it, when I uh, decided, hey, while we're out here, let's turn and ask our, our pig friends about any beehives in the area. So I went and I asked one. I, t I turned around and I asked him. And you know what he said to me? He said, bud, you don't need to go looking for him. And you don't know why I don't have to go looking for him? Because if you do this, they spawn. <laughs> so I want to thank our little piggy friend out there, Sven. He's uh, off over that way. I think I should start carrying funny name tags and name pigs who I ask directions for. I think that's something I should do. So if you guys have names for pigs, please do let me know down in the comments down below. But if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, all the time in this game, there, there are two things I do. When I need directions on how to get somewhere or to find something, I ask pigs. They've never steered me wrong. I'm not even kidding. We did it in stream. The I think the first stream I did in this world. We were trying to find the ocean, and I asked a pig, and not only did we find an ocean, we found a shipwreck, we found our kelp that we needed, we found a bunch of other cool stuff, I found a couple of nautilus shells out there. Uh, not nautilus shells, hearts of the sea, nautilus shells are things I need to go around them. Uh, so pigs are the best. That's also the reason I don't farm pigs in the game. Anytime a pig gets hurt, whether it's by me or just in the area, something bad happens to me. So I do not harm pigs in Minecraft or notice or, or like let them come to harm if I can help it because if it happens, it's not good for me. So I have been here for a little bit <laughs> farming trees to try and get ourselves some more beehives and all of those hives there. One of them I think is minus one bee. Right when I went to break the hive, a bee popped out and I whacked him, so I had to run off into the village. And he was angry and was chasing me. And he didn't sting me, but I lost track of him and I honestly don't see him out here anymore. So I don't know if he ended up stinging something else, I don't know if that's how they work. He might have even gone in that nether portal. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we're not too worried about that right now. Whoop. You'll hear them make the you'll make the the plop sound. Why are you going over there? But there's literally tons of them over here. No, you gotta come back over here, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, little bee. We got we gotta get you back to your home. Bloop. Right there. Ah, eh, good enough. Oof, he just dropped right out of the sky. But yeah, I normally can catch them before the bees come out. But these three decided to uh, you know out a little too fast for me to catch and they really did spread out normally they drop right to the first flower but this has been pretty good so far I've been collecting up bees I also designed a small beekeeping area it's kind of like a little hut uh, it, honestly it's kind of hard to describe but it is a uh, pretty fun design I went out and collected resources for it and we are going to get to building it in a little bit but I do want to get a hold of a few more bees because I do have another plan for a larger set of stuff in the future so i'm gonna do that and then once we're done i'll bring you guys back over to our current base area and we'll get started on a little bit of building i'd say now is a good enough time as any to get started on a little bit of building so what we're gonna do is as i said i have a pretty simple design hey buddy you gotta come over here come on come on over here come on boop Get one of these flowers. They're now your flowers. All right, there we go. <laughs> it's time for some building. And what we are going to do is I'm going to lay down a quick foundation here. I'm going to start whoop, too many blocks. So uh, it's a pretty fun design. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not anything insane. I actually need to break a couple more flowers. And I'm kind of happy with it. It's very... So the only thing I'm not really happy with right now is the the roof. I'm not very happy with the roof for this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, though. So it's just kind of going to be there until I figure it out. Which is a bummer, because as I said, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet. I'm going to leave that flower for now until we're pretty much done closing this in. Just so we can deal with that. But what I want to do first is this middle piece. Okay, we're going to frame in 
this so that the bees can't get out. What I need to do is go on a two, a three. And you know, I'll just do it right on top of this. Well, I want a two, a three. And I want a two, a th three. Yo, buddy, you're flying around way too far away. Just, there we go. <laughs> go back to your house. Um, I did have this a little longer initially. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nah, I think this will still be fine. One, two, three. And I don't really know how to describe this. What I'm doing now is I'm trying out a couple of different ideas just to see where I want to take things, if that makes sense. So I have like a general plan in my brain, but then there's kind of like things that I want to do, but I don't know how for sure I want to do it, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? So it's a bit of work, but we'll figure it out. Oh, actually I need to do different ends on those. We'll figure that out once we get to it. I'll just change them out because I want to do the bark blocks. Um, is this one? I'm trying to remember, yeah, these go across like so. Boom, so I need to change this one out. I know I should really cut it so it's the long ones that do it, but I think doing it the short way like that will be fine. I also left my bed way over there, my inventory bed. I have an inventory bed and I have a base bed, and I left my inventory bed over at Bee Country and it's too far away. So we had to run back in sad. But I want to talk about the bees a little bit more because I not only found, I remembered stuff, but I also found stuff out. So one of the things with the bees, so what I was doing over there is you can physically farm high, uh, nests is what they call them. I'd personally call it a beehive, but that is just me. One, two, three, let's get a couple of those. But the you can farm them. So obviously you guys, are, I'm going to assume you guys know that, but if you didn't know that, you now do. But what? you don't know uh what you might not know not what you don't know is what you might not know is how to do it so i cannot remember the percentage chance but in plains i think forests and flower forests you have a chance as long as there is a flower within one block of the tree you have a chance of a bee, a bee's nest spawning on it. So you want to make sure you keep up with that. Put your bee's nests. Uh, that's the best place to grow it. Obviously, if you have access to bone meal like I do, it's real easy. Just go out there and just keep bone meal and trees. But you don't have to do it that way. You can just leave them to just grow on their own. I find the bone mealing part to be faster, so I just kind of get it done. But... That is beside the point. As I said, for whatever reason, 5% is in my head, and I don't know if that's 100% right. If you do know the correct answer, please do let uh, not just me, but everybody know in the comments down below. But as I said, I'm pretty sure it's a 5% chance, but I could be 100% wrong. So, take that as you will. One, two, three. Because I am not omnipotent and all-knowing. I think those both mean the same thing, but I could be wrong. <laughs> as I said, I don't know all knowledge, but I did want to share that little bit and you can soak touch them to pick up the hives. If there's no bees, there's no bees. Uh, well, there should always be bees in the hive. So if you do pick up a hive that has no bees in it, there are going to be no bees in it when you pick it up. So as long as they haven't exited yet or they've gone back in, you'll be able to pick up the bees. So that side there is done. This is actually the easiest part. <laughs> the rest is a bit more we'll say work so um let's go through we're gonna bloop 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 oh i still have to do the logs on top <laughs> oh, i forgot some logs right, that'll be fine though as i said this is um i'm changing up a couple things about this design as we do build it there's a couple of things that i was initially fine with but after watching it for a bit isn't going to work so initially Whoop, okay, Oof, still got my still got my step up. Initially, I was going to let it just stay. Uh, oh, well, I was going to use glass panes instead of glass blocks, and the bees kept getting stuck. I was also going to only have my roof covering this part, but because of the roof design, uh, the block I use for my roof 
the baby bees see through the edges and think that they can fit through. The adult bees probably do too, but they don't ever try to fly out in that same way. So I haven't changed any of that, but the baby bees do uh, did continuously try to fly out and they couldn't. So that is that part. The other part is it's going to be very green. It's going to be a lot of green to it. Oh, it's a lot of a lot of honey let's put that out here a couple of hives i also have an idea to set up for like a bee breeder so if you guys uh want to see that let me know otherwise i'll pro uh, honestly i'll probably end up doing it in a stream but i don't have to i can do it in a video and also in relation to streams i do have copies of the first three streams do you guys want to see those i know a couple of you guys have been there for the streams but I can also upload them to YouTube if you guys want to be able to see them. So if you do, just uh, let me know. And I would be able to set that up. But I am going to hop on. We're going to do the roof quickly. And once the roof is done, I'll bring you guys on back to show you guys what it is going to look like. We have wrapped up our roof pretty nicely. Sorry, I'm running all the way from over here. I actually already recorded all of this. And for whatever reason, OBS didn't pick up my mic. So I am here re-recording this. I hope that is fine. But yes, as I was saying, this is all up and done. We talked a little bit about a couple of... Actually, I forgot to bring my shovel, so I can't show one thing up there. But I can't explain it. I'm, I'm happy with it. As I said... The buildings are all a little bit different right now because I'm still deciding, I'm still work, like planning out what's going to work and what's not going to work for the larger base area. And any feedback or opinions would be very much appreciated. So if you guys do have any ideas, please, please, please do let me know in the comments section down below to be very, very much appreciated. And what I'm going to do quickly is kind of show off the top here so this here a lot of people probably know about this but these are the fire pits fireplaces fires whatever they call them and i put them out using the shovel you just right click using the shovel so you don't have to drown the whole thing in water each individual one at a time which is pretty nice so i'd say the inside here is done the only thing i have left i'm probably gonna end up pulling those torches because i have one in the ground now but i also want to breed up bees and add them in here which is why we did a bunch of this so i'm gonna set up a bee breeding area probably like right here i might end up removing this because i'm not using it right now and i can easily rebuild it or i might put it underneath i'm undecided so i'll figure that out the only problems i've noticed with this design myself and if you guys have like ideas on it please do let me know is I don't really like that it doesn't hang over this end, but it doesn't hang over this end either. But because that's flat and this is pitched, it looks a little weird. I also forgot about this. <laughs> because I use trap doors, this stuff in here, every time it gets powered, will open the trap doors. It's fine. I'll figure it out in the future. Like in a future build, I'll probably extend the size of it out a little bit more, which is what I really should have done here. But I didn't think about it until I was putting those in. And at that point, there really wasn't time to change it. So that's really that on that. Everything else, I think that was really it. So um, I did actually. So <laughs> I don't know if you guys notice this. I do have some heads kicking around, but I don't kill all of these guys. If I can trade with them for something useful, which I haven't found a jungle yet. So I bought some jungle saplings off this guy. So he gets to live. That's how I feel with these guys. If they're useful, they live. If they ain't got nothing I need, <sighs> their heads get added to the wall. So, oh, I also got a hold of a white llama from him because it broke away. But I think that's really it. So I want to say thank you for stopping in. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. It was a little bit all over the place, hoppy choppy. This actually was recorded over a whole week, and it's also two days late. So... <laughs> Yeah, that kind of stuff happens. But as I was saying, thank you for stopping in. I hope you did enjoy. I'm naked because I was just AFK in my little box over there. So, oh, actually, speaking of the boxes, before I close out, I know they're rather slow. I, I understand that. They're early game starter farms. I'm fine with it. We're going to build some crazy massive farms later. 
So I just wanted to say that now. Obviously, if you have cool farm ideas, please do let me know also in the comments. But yeah, as I was saying, with that, thank you for stopping in. I hope you did enjoy, and hope you all have a nice night, day, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. This is my defense. I hope to see you again soon. Peace.